Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be doing an in-depth look at Lime's Ares. Now, a couple of things I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know about this truck right from the get-go is it's very low uh, file size, so this won't take up a lot of room on your system. It's only 64.4 megabytes, and with that being said, as far as the RAM requirements go, it will vary depending on what you can run this thing in conjunction with, obviously depending on how new or old your system is. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into this thing's capabilities get it out to a testing ground and see what it can do now this is what the Ares looks like when you get it in stock form now stock form is still very effective and it can actually be put to really good use on a variety of maps and scenarios so definitely don't walk past the stock tuning of the engine or transmission in this truck because while it is balanced it's still very powerful and very effective and if you want something that can compete just a little bit higher up than say for example a very highly built multi-purpose vehicle in the campaign this would definitely be a good place to start but you can take this truck a lot further than this so let's fire it up get into the garage and see what all we can do in terms of upgrades it also sounds really really good like really good i don't know about y'all and sound is a subjective thing but I really, really like the way this truck sounds. So right into the customization options now, stock is already going to be an S plus, of course, but you also have the built engine and the bulletproof engine. Now, if you want sort of OP over the top, but still controllable, that's going to be the built option. And if you want just wild and crazy over the top, that's obviously going to be the bulletproof option. The bulletproof option is pretty much on another planet in terms of power and capability. Now, the bulletproof option is what I would run if I was going to take this thing, say, for example, to a mud bog or if I was going to put the largest mud tires on it. But I think for this build, we'll probably be able to get away with the built engine, which also, by the way, is extremely effective still with the mud tires. So that'll be our first round of this build. Now, gearbox wise, you have default, fast, heavy tow, and standard tow. Now, this has kind of become a staple of the transmission lineup of Lime's trucks, and really, most of the time, I either run fast or tow. Tow is a really good, well-rounded transmission for objective-based gameplay, and fast is good for taking it on a race map, or even, and I know this sounds a little bit weird, but if you're going to take it rock crawling or take it down a trail, I still use the fast transmission because you've still got all of your low ranges, and it's still very good at putting power to the ground. So we're going to go with the fast transmission in this one. Now, suspension-wise, the stock suspension is definitely not one to be sneezed at because you can actually still lift it up. It's got active capability, and you can fit some really big tires underneath it, and it's a really good middle of the road in terms of load-bearing capability as well as off-roading capability. Then you have the Flex Tune, which the Flex Tune is extremely flexible, and I'll show you guys on the Flex Ramp as well as some obstacles a little bit later how incredibly well-tuned the Flex Setup is. Then you have the Lift, which the Lift is basically or if you're going to build a dedicated mud truck. Then you have the tow setup, which if you're going to be doing a lot of heavy hauling or have maybe a gooseneck behind you, this is definitely the way to go for that. Also, main thing that I want to go ahead and touch on real quick about the frame add-ons tab as well as the towing setup, if you want to have the gooseneck hitch or the gooseneck trailers available in the trailer store, you must have Red's gooseneck pack turned on, well, downloaded and enabled in order for those to show up, okay? Now, as far as the suspension goes, we're going to go back to the flex tune. That's going to be our first go. And then tires wise. So obviously you have the stocks, which is going to be your first option. And I do like these a lot. They're based on a BFG compound. But at the end of the day, I would like something wider. Now, if you want to go really wide, like sort of SEMA show style, you can go with these boggers on deep dish wheels, which are, by the way, heavy, heavily customizable, and you can change the color of these wheels as well. So if that's the kind of look that you're going for, you definitely can. Next up, if you're going to build a mud truck, you obviously have these checkmark tractor tires, these kind of agricultural style tires that can go up to a really, really, really huge size, actually. Then you have a Nitto Trail Grappler on another deep dish wheel. Then you actually have, these look like a Baja MTZ, and then you also have a Maxxis tire setup, and then you also have a very wide kind of steamroller style IROX uh, setup. Now, at the bottom of the list, you have these gigantic, gigantic 58-inch IROCs, which, honestly, 
I feel like these would probably be almost, they would almost be passable as a monster tire. Like, almost. If you threw these on and backed out of it, I mean, like, it looks almost like a monster truck now. But that's not necessarily the look we're going for with the flex setup. But I did figure I would let you guys see what that looks like. So I think I'm going to actually throw these boggers on here first and just see kind of how the flex looks and also show you guys the customization features that are held within these wheels now also frame add-ons wise like i said you could throw the gooseneck in there if you have red's gooseneck pack then when you get to the exhaust you have the hood stack you have the axle dump you have the curved stacks and you have the straight stacks so we're gonna go with the axle dump on this build you also have a drop hitch which is basically based off of a bulletproof hitches style design or at least it looks to be and it's nice that they actually have that there because previously on limes trucks we didn't really have something like this now utv rack obviously you have the classic toy up which you can throw limes side by side on now in terms of side steps you have the hd steps which are basically the hdx steps but the branding has been altered for console friendly purposes now we're gonna go ahead and throw those on and roof wise we have a light bar that you can put up top which is really really cool i believe it's also functional and front bumper wise you have a weighted bumper but once again that won't really mesh well with our flex suspension now, under the wheels category, the reason why I went with these deep dish wheels on boggers is because I wanted to show you guys the variety of colors and customization options that you have on offer here. So, as far as the color options go, you have a black wheel, you have a black with blue accent, green accent, orange accent, red accent, chrome, full chrome, which actually, that kind of has a little bit of like a pearlescent thing going on uh, on the inner spokes. You also have a white and blue wheel, a white and red wheel, and a black and gold wheel. I actually kind of dig these blue wheels. That is completely different than anything I've seen before, but it's very like SEMA truck style. Now, you obviously have a big range of colors for this truck. You can go with whatever color option you want, and I gotta tell you, actually, that dark gray with the blue wheels, I mean, obviously, I know that there are some people out there that don't really like that style of truck but holy crap those colors actually offset each other really really well in my opinion and i know i normally don't go for like darker colors on these builds but that actually looks pretty sick also you can see that it actually matches that dark blue but i don't really want to have too much blue on this truck so i might go with this silver i actually really like that i really like that and i know that it's like not the most you know uh not the most like rugged off-road style but like you know what Sometimes I have a little bit of a soft spot for these like, you know, SEMA truck style builds. So let's fire this thing up and see what the flex is like. I actually think having an axle dump exhaust on this thing works really, really well. God, that looks so good. That stick was just like, whoop, it just flew like right up in the air. It got like literally just flung right out from underneath my bogger. Yo, okay. Yo, it might have show truck wheels on it right now, but holy crap does it flex out and that's not even the max you know travel on this thing that's not even its top like capability yo that light bar though that's amazing hang on hang on hang on check this out check this out. yo that's awesome look at that lighting bro you will literally be your well actually it doesn't seem to light up the light bar but it acts like it does right because if i turn it off it, there we go. Yeah, if you're looking at it from behind, it acts like it's the light bar. Yeah, if you play in multiplayer with this thing, with your buddies at night, bro, your friends are going to be like, you are the lighting dude. And, like, they're going to have you go in front of everybody so you can, so that basically, so everybody can see where they're going. Because that is so freaking bar, like, so freaking bright. Now let's make our way through the river. I mean, obviously, this thing is not going to have any issue putting power to the ground let's see how it does up this hill oh my god i just rolled into the throttle and high and it was just like uh yeah so we're gonna yeet and there's not much you can do about it my dude let's see how it does when we make our way down through the oh god come on come on are you serious okay maybe these don't have the best of rock grip now granted they are a bogger so let's switch them out for a Maxis and see how those work out here. So let's see. Uh, second to largest Maxis option. Now this should change the attitude of the truck a lot. Yo, look at that difference in rock grip. Holy smokes. That is, that is a gigantic difference. Wow. Let me rotate that front end around and then just ease it across. Dude, that's sick. That is absolutely freaking sick. I'm like, <laughs> I am absolutely blown away by that. Wow. That's gnarly. 
That is absolutely gnarly, the difference in grip. There you go. That's a better look for you at the flex. I mean, and the nice thing about it is, it's so well balanced in terms of its center of gravity that it's not going to roll over on things like that, or at least I say that. The second I say that, I flip it over due to the, like, the bounce back from the rock. But you know what? I'm going to, for once, I'm going to blame that on the rock and not on me. And I'm sure there's somebody in the comments that's going to be like, no, it was your fault. Never blame it on the rock. It was your fault. And I'm like, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, we're driving out of it. Hey, we drove out of it. What the heck? We should not have been able to drive out of that, but that's okay. All right, repair and refuel. Now, we're going to make a little bit of an adjustment to this thing. Just a, just a little bit. Now, we're going to go for a, let's see, bright green. And now, oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be, this is going to be real fun. Let me go for like a moderate size on the, actually, no. Since we're going for the mud, it's going to be, yeah. It's going to be, it's going to be full on like, it's going to be a big boy setup. Come on. And wait a minute. I just realized we set off without throwing the max engine in it. That's another, uh. That's another thing that I should have done. All right, now we're ready to go. And let's see, let's spool it real quick. Three, two, one, drop it. Holy smokes, oh my God. Okay, slow down, slow down. I didn't slow down in time. I ninja winched myself, but I'll tell you one thing. I did not slow down in time. I went a little bit too fast, although, in the world of my buddy Diesel Addict, I don't think there's any any such thing as too fast. So let's see how this does in the mud lanes. I'm sure it's going to absolutely obliterate them, but oh yeah, I mean, look at that. All right, second mud lane, go. Bro, it's like, uh, and? I'm like, hey, look, some mud. And it's like, yeah, and? All right, change suspension mode. Since we're going into the deep pond now, come on. Oh, yo, what? Just pulls a straight-up wheelie out of it. Okay. I mean, that's not necessarily what I was expecting, but I'm I'm down for it. Uh, although I was expecting it to be a little bit crazier in here. Not gonna lie, like, I was expecting to come in here and have it just rip. But then again, I mean, I guess this mud is just that crazy. Like, this mud is one of those areas on this map where no matter what vehicle you're in, you will most likely usually get bogged down in it. Now, sometimes it depends on the speed of your run-up. Let's see if that kind of changes it at all. It also might be the... Oh, come on! Oh, I don't think so! Yo, I don't think so. Yeah, there are some of Lime's vehicles that'll go through there in high, but not all of them. And I think that it actually goes to show that, like, even something as crazy as this can still get beached if the mud is thick enough or deep enough. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of a setup um, setup change one more time. Hey, that's hilarious. It will pop wheelies, though. All right, let's bring you down. Repair you real quick. I love having dev tools, by the way. It's literally the best thing ever. Okay, back into the garage. Now we're going to go back to the flex setup. And we're going to go with the... It's going to be interesting. So back to the second to largest boggers. And let me find the blue that we had before, because I really like that setup. Maybe that's like, maybe that's like weird. I don't know, but wait a second. Black and green, chrome, black and orange, black and red. What the heck? Where's the blue? Um, where's the blue? Wait, black and green. Hold on. Black and blue. Wait. White and red. Okay. Black wheels. Black and blue. White and blue. Oh! Oh, well, they're all blue. It's fine then. Never mind. So it's just flipped the opposite way of the way it's described. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's... Ooh! You know, I wasn't... I wasn't originally looking for that color, but there's something about that, like, dark maroon that just looks really sick like really really whoa i forgot i was on the bulletproof setup yeah when you get into the boost of the bulletproof setup this thing just takes off now i am gonna go ahead and take it to the bridge jump because i do want to see what will happen if we take it off the bridge jump but i think i'm gonna do the bridge jump with just so we don't have so much suspension compression i'm gonna do it on the default suspension in high mode 
Now, I guess when I say compression, I mean, you know, it doesn't, uh, hopefully it doesn't cycle down as much as it did before. Now, that would be more considered travel and not compression. The, like, compression would be the act of it compressing, of course, but it wouldn't be the actual measure. So let's make our way up the bridge jump. Rip the e-brake. I said rip the e-brake. Okay, yeah, you get going so fast in this thing that you'll rip the e-brake and the truck will be like, and... Am I supposed to do something? Like, slow down? Eh. Alright. Lay into it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I can't see. I literally... Alright. Oh, oh my... What? I have a feeling I took out a couple of trees on the way through that. Just a, like, just a small, like, hunch. But, either way, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this truck, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.